Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are gonna talk to you and show you all the coolest things about the newest master plan community in the Denver area. So it is Montaigne at Castle Rock mm -hmm. and there's two main builders there. Toll Brothers, which is America's luxury home builder. They probably build the most, some of the most gorgeous, yes. you know, homes that aren't like custom homes. And then there's Brightland Builders, and they are also a really superior builder. Mm -hmm. And then there's two different communities. Yes. So there's actually a 55 plus mm -hmm. community, and then there's a family community. Correct. So Regency is going to be the 55 plus, and then there's going to be Vista, which is all ages and all are gonna be single family residences and they're gonna feel very resort-like. So what that means is you're gonna have your own yard. They really do try to give you a view and as you'll see with some footage that we put in here, you'll see that a lot of the homes really do try to back up to open space. So you feel like yeah. you're in the mountains, you feel like you have a view, you can see wilderness kind of from every angle. Well, and the location is really cool because it's built kind of on a hill. Yes. So the whole neighborhood's on this hill, yes. which kind of gives every house somewhat of a, a really cool view of the mountains. Absolutely. Um, it's a really unique location. Yeah, I think what happens in, you know, maybe you'll agree with me or not, but sometimes master plan communities can make you feel like you're a little bit in a fishbowl. They're all kind of built on the yeah, same flat, level, very flat. And they, you know, you the, look at your neighbor. Mm -hmm. And a good rule of thumb is in Colorado, the newer the home, typically the smaller your lot size. You know, they are on smaller lots, but you still have views and being it back into open space instead of like backing to your neighbor's house right. makes it feel bigger and more private. Definitely. Important thing to note when you're looking at new build homes, the base price does not include a lot of things like your lot premium and any extra add-ons. So yeah, base prices, it can all be confusing when you're looking at new builds. You know, you walk into a new build place and the salespeople there are very convincing. They have these beautiful homes. Uh -huh. They have all these builder incentives. Yes. Um, but we want to remind you guys, in fact, the salespeople there and everybody always bring your own realtor, such as ourselves. Mm -hmm. We are licensed realtors in the state of Colorado. We would love to help you with your real estate needs, including these homes yes. and navigating this. But a great reason to bring us is we can really help you better negotiate some incentives mm -hmm. and really understand what you're getting versus what you're not getting. And that saves a lot of frustration in the building process or yes. further down the road. We are here to advocate for you as mm -hmm. where if you walk in without a realtor, that salesperson works for the builder. But at the end of the day, they don't have the same, they're not gonna fight for you like we like we would. Mm -hmm. So just a reminder. It's a very good point. Yes, please call us, we'll take you there. Yeah. Hop in. Yes. <laughs> you can just sightsee and we'll drive you there. Yep. Yep. We'll fight for you. She'll <laughs> drive because, yep. Apparently I'm a scary driver. A <laughs> oh, little right. bit. A little bit. <laughs> okay. So let's talk a little bit about what's around Montaigne. Some other little parks that are nearby that aren't specifically inside of Montaigne, but a little bit further out. So 13 minutes away, there's the Mac Complex or the Miller Activity Complex. And it is a giant, giant park. There is, it's a facility, so you can do birthday parties there. They have an indoor trampoline. They have an indoor pool, tennis courts, which is really great. And then they also have an outside park. There's a 23 foot slide, which is amazing. There's a splash pad there, which is really great. And then right next to it, there's also the Castle Rock Incline which is a 200 step incline all the way up and it's about 0.6 miles to take the entire loop around, but you get a really great view of Castle Rock from there. So that's a fun activity to do. There's also a lot of like small playgrounds mm -hmm. in Montaigne. Yes. So that you can like walk to from your house. Right. If you have kids, mm -hmm. which is cool. They're not all, it's not just at the clubhouse, but like right. in the actual neighborhoods. Yes. They, they built some playgrounds and things. Definitely. Cool. Yeah. It's really cool. Castle Rock has a lot of really great parks and outdoors. Yeah, it's centers. very family friendly. Very much so. There's a Deputy Zach Parish Park and it's 5.5 acres and they have two separate parts of the park. So there's like a side for like two to five year olds and then there's another side with 
giant slides and a zip line, but it's awesome. Five years old and up, it's so much fun, but they have pickleball there. Uh, they have tennis courts, so there's a lot to do at this park as well. One more thing that's important to note um, that's a downside to buying a new, it's not just with Montaigne, but any new build um, community that you buy in Colorado is part of a metro district. A metro district is a special taxing district, and it's basically, I could go into a whole thing on it, but it's basically the developers, the a way of getting their money back for turning the dirt into this neighborhood. So there's streets, street lights, sewers, electricity, all that stuff. The builder basically puts it back on the homeowner in a way of increased property taxes. So your rate that you're taxed by is going to be higher than if you were to buy an older home. But again, it's not anything unique to Montaigne. It's all, all across Colorado, almost, um, you're gonna be paying higher taxes. Oh, another good note, higher taxes than Colorado, but Colorado is still one of the lowest property tax states. Mm -hmm. So if you're coming from you know, New York or California, it's gonna seem lower to you, but just know that that's the one downside of uh, new builds. Yes. And that is um, kind of, on, it's on top of the HOA. Mm -hmm. So you have an HOA fee of 150 a month, uh, but that includes everything. That includes your trash, mm -hmm. that includes the snow removal on the streets, and you know, the street maintenance, and your, your clubhouse with, it actually is a fitness center. Mm -hmm. So there'll be a fitness center, the resort like pool, and all those things are included in that. So yeah, we'll just show you guys, um, we'll walk you through, show you guys some of the finishes. There's a lot of different floor plans. Mm -hmm. There's two story floor plans. And then what's great about the, the 55 plus community is all those homes are ranch homes, all of them. Ranch homes, they do have basements, but they're unfinished basements. So you, the builder does not offer finished basements. You have to do that you know, with your own contractor later. So we're gonna show you inside their model homes. Mm -hmm. The model homes we're gonna show you are not at this base price. They are not. A lot of things, you know, especially with Toll Brothers and Brightland, you get a lot of things like air conditioning with the base price, but a lot, the extra design stuff is not included in the base price. Right. You can add on anywhere, especially with Toll Brothers, you can add on anywhere from, I would expect a minimum of $50,000 to $200,000 um, on top of the base price is probably realistic, yeah. just so you know. With this community comes a lot of great amenities. So living here, it does feel very resort style. So you'll have those clubhouses. Now, something to note, Vista side, which is the single family residences for all ages, that clubhouse is not open yet. They're still in the process of building it, but hopefully by the end of 2023. Yeah, they said it's definitely gonna be open for the summer mm -hmm. and the pool next year. Yeah. Which is great. Mm -hmm. um, the Regency Clubhouse is open. Yes. And they both have their own pool and like pickleball courts mm -hmm. and basketball, or not basketball, tennis courts. And the, uh, the guy was saying, if you live in the Vista, uh, don't try to come out on the um, the 55 plus pickleball uh -huh. courts. Uh -huh. um, they're real strict over there. Yeah. The the elders do not they will let not anyone it. with, uh, you know, not gray hair play on their pickleball yep. courts. I was going to say that. So wait a few months, you know, just don't, don't make them mad and, <laughs> and you'll have your own pickleball courts. Yes. <laughs> yes. But what's great with, you know, both sides, there's hiking and biking trails everywhere. Everywhere. It's wonderful. What I love about this location is it's right off I-25. Yes. So it's the south side of Castle Rock mm -hmm. and Castle Rock is south of Denver, but it's right off I-25. In right. fact, they're even putting in a new exit yes. from I-25 to get to this community. Mm -hmm. So your commute is really easy. I-25, you know, you take straight into Denver. Right. It go, it'll take you straight to downtown, straight to the Denver Tech Center, or south if you can go to Colorado Springs. Mm -hmm. So it's right there, like a few minutes off the highway. A lot of new builds, you know, are gonna be way out in the middle of nowhere. Yes. But this is already an established area. Mm -hmm. It's very close to downtown Castle Rock, like Correct. less than 10 minutes yep. of downtown Castle Rock, yep. where there's restaurants and bars and all the amenities. There's the outlet mall is right there. 
And then if you want even more shopping, Park Meadows is only like 15 minutes mm -hmm. up I-25. Right. So you have everything right there in a really established town. Absolutely. Another thing to note with Montaigne, back to kind of, you know, the open space, there's trails, hiking, biking. There's 500 acres of open space in Montaigne. So it really does make you huge. feel like, yeah. yeah, I mean, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. So it really does make you feel like you're not packed in and on top right. of each other. Yeah, it's very, it has a very Colorado feel yes. to everything. Mm -hmm. Yes, views for days. Views and the outdoors. Yes, green grass. Yeah, it's beautiful. Another reason on top of the location is it is part of the Douglas County School District, which Douglas County is always like in the top rankings for school districts in the whole state. Yes. So you have great schools, great location, easy commutes. Yeah. Beautiful homes. Outdoor activities. Yeah. Yeah. Can't beat it. Mm -hmm. So remember, if you are thinking about moving to Colorado, we would love to help you with your move or any of your real estate needs. Please call or text the number on the screen. You always get one of us and uh, hope to hear from you soon. Yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.